We're living in a time when indie games are becoming just as popular as high-budget AAA games, and these creations prove it. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 indie games that made it big. For this list, we're looking at those independently produced video games that became immensely popular in the mainstream. We're basing our decision both on the game's critical acclaim, and most importantly, its popularity in the mainstream market. We won't be counting indie games that were distributed by mainstream companies, such as No Man's Sky and Journey. In order to be eligible, the game must have been developed and distributed completely independently. Number 10. FTL Faster Than Light What's amazing about FTL is that it was developed by only two people. Matthew Davis and Justin Ma, both ex-employees of 2K Games who became disillusioned with mainstream gaming and sought out the independent market. What resulted from their curiosity was one of the finest indie games of the year, complete with punishingly difficult, imaginative situations and gorgeous music, even winning major industry awards for the latter. FTL is also notable for being one of the first games released with the help of Kickstarter, raising over $200,000 and proving that this method could be beneficial to both gamers and indie developers alike. Number 9. Fez Fez is perhaps best known for its dramatic production, led by its outspoken lead designer, Phil Fish, and covered in the film Indie Game the Movie. After quitting his job and dedicating his time fully to Fez, Fish became known as a temperamental perfectionist, and even discussed killing himself should he be unable to finish the game. If this, if this fails, like, I don't think I, uh, I'll work in games again. However, after countless irritating delays, finish it he did, and Fez was released to positive reviews, mostly due to its charming retro style, and it has since sold over 1 million copies. The game capitalized on the public's newfound interest in indie games, and it's one of the most successful because of it. Number 8. Undertale Led by one man and one man only, Undertale was not only one of the best indie games of 2015, but it's quite possibly one of the best indie games ever released. Undertale was developed, written, and scored solely by Toby Fox, who was barely even experienced in developing video games at all, aside from a few RPGs he made with his brothers on RPG Maker 2000. However, he proved to be a natural, and through the game's terrific writing, relatable and well-rounded characters, and unique combat system, Undertale quickly caught on with mainstream audiences and has since sold over 1 million copies on Steam, creating one of the most dedicated fan bases we've seen in recent years. Number 7. Rocket League Developer Psyonix released a game in 2008 for the PS3, annoyingly titled Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket-Powered Battle Cars, and although it sold relatively well, it wasn't considered a big success. By changing its name to the far more simple Rocket League and tweaking the gameplay, which included adding the now signature neon art style, Psyonix had a masterpiece in multiplayer gaming on their hands. Praised for its fast pace, simple gameplay, and addictive nature, Rocket League became a runaway success, selling over 6 million copies in one year, earning more than 100 million in revenue, and becoming an officially sponsored eSport by joining the ESL. Sometimes it's the simplest games that are the most fun. Unbelievable play, and that is going to solidify your MLG Season 1 champions. Number 6. Shovel Knight Serving as the first video game released by Yacht Club Games, Shovel Knight is a loving, nostalgia-ridden ode to the NES era. Coming equipped with beautiful old-school graphics, gameplay, and music. Announced alongside a Kickstarter campaign, as many indie games are, Shovel Knight eventually raised over $300 million, and even when that amount ran dry, they were still able to continue development out of dedication alone. Players and critics alike greatly enjoyed the nostalgia trip, and the game has sold over 1.2 million copies, with PS4 and Xbox One versions getting Kratos and the Battletoads to appear as cameos, and the Wii U version getting its own amiibo. Incredible new Shovel Knight amiibo from Yacht Club Games is not only so dang cool you'll scream, ah! it will also unlock a brand new mode in Shovel Knight for the Nintendo Wii U! Number 5. Braid Arguably the game that started it all, 
Braid brought indie gaming to the mainstream and provided players with one of the most unique gaming experiences of the late 2000s. Developed by Jonathan Blow with the help of David Hellman providing the game's beautiful artwork, Braid was praised for its mature story, transcendent music, and challenging but ultimately rewarding puzzles. Blow wanted to deconstruct video game trends with Braid, but in the process he may have started a trend himself. Braid caught everyone's attention and is now rightfully considered to be the game that kickstarted the mainstream indie movement. Number 4. Terraria Designed by the three men who form ReLogic, Terraria is a two-dimensional survival adventure game with a heavy emphasis on exploration, crafting, and combat. Complete with retrospective SNES-era graphics and exploration-based gameplay, Terraria harkens back to the golden age of Nintendo, bringing to mind oldies but goodies like Super Metroid. <laughs> This blend of adventure and nostalgia seemed to please gamers, as Terraria was a massive success and has sold over 18 million copies and counting. Those numbers would be staggering for a AAA title, let alone an independently produced one, proving paradoxically that indie games are now the mainstream, as our next three entries will definitely prove as well. Number 3. Five Nights at Freddy's After his previous game was deemed unintentionally terrifying, developer Scott Cawthon went with a more intentional approach, and by god he succeeded in scaring the pants off a lot of people. Like we see in film, horror is usually done right when taken in the most basic, primitive direction. The cheap approach to this game, such as having minimal music, ends up helping it in the long run, as the game relies on the ever-increasing tension to generate scares rather than a more high-budgeted, in-your-face approach like we see in AAA horror games. The game was a wild success, becoming a major hit with YouTube Let's Players, generating four sequels and a lifelong fear of Chuck E. Cheese. Number 2. Angry Birds It's not often that mobile games spawn pop culture phenomenons, but Angry Birds pulled it off, becoming one of the most profitable and popular video games of the 21st century. The game holds the record for the most days atop the Apple Paid Apps chart at 275, and had been downloaded 50 million times within its first year of release. <laughs> like a popular movie, the success of the video game led to merchandising, like toys and cookbooks, and other forms of media including a feature film and a television series. Suffice to say, this indie game made more than a few waves in the pop culture scene of the 2010s. Just Before we unveil our top pick, here's a look at a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Minecraft At first glance, Minecraft might seem like an unfinished version of a better game, especially due to its blocky, primitive graphics. However, this didn't deter players from experiencing the most popular indie game of all time. Originally designed by one man and released without advertising, Minecraft spread through simple word of mouth and became a phenomenon. Over 106 million copies of Minecraft have been sold, making it the best-selling PC game and the second best-selling video game of all time, second only to Tetris, again with the blocks. It's amazing what simple word of mouth, and eventually YouTube, can do, but when you have a game that's this much fun, it's easy to understand the success that it's accumulated. Do you agree with our list? What do you think is the most successful indie game? For more startup top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.